Welcome everyone to another of our famous We Fix It episodes here. Just the other day I announced here everything positive, everything amazing, Python 3.11, faster, the fastest, not, not yet the fastest, but faster. But yeah, you probably will be as surprised as I was when it's like, yeah, you, of course they broke Firefox, it's like, Tuesday. Um, yeah, you can't make this stuff up. It is so sad. Recurring theme is the only constant is change and regressions. And while I appreciate the performance change, the thing here is that they um, deprecated, where did I even probably shouldn't have closed that, they deprecated a while ago in Python 3.6 or so. Um, the uh, regular expression feature of options, global options, in the middle of the ex regular expression. Um, you wonder why that ever was a good idea. Do I still, I should have still somewhere, I had those, yeah, I must like preparing for those live streams here. Uh, where would I, probably here. And so what they've done, so this was deprecated for a while and they now as they so often do, made a er hard error. And so what happens here is that Firefox is of course, like, of course they need to combine everything. Rust, Python, never you. And that is also the thing, right? Now in 2022 you need not only Python, Node.js, Rust, like you need everything but the kitchen sinks of freaking build Firefox or Chromium, Chrome, or ungoogled Chromium. Um, and that is rather annoying for everyone, right? Also, I understand cleanups and stuff, um, but the problem with this stuff is now all the all the Linux distributions are not not only all the operating system vendors. Also, probably Apple is probably not an operating system vendor anymore. Not shipping like Python or Ruby or stuff. So everyone every operating system vendor and system integrator and stuff wanting you to use the latest Firefox version, probably they find bugs all over the place, right? It, it, that is why I really hate this. The only constant is change and change for change and, and clean up and stuff. This, sh yeah, they, it sounds like they might want to change that here. Um, so that is version change through problem the construction can only be used at the start of the expression. And so the promise you would think it's easy to fix, but I looked at that already for like five minutes and then thought, I don't know what, let's, let's usually discuss it here. So there's this file. All right, this is a new build ID. Um, but it wasn't obvious to me uh, what's going on there. So it's like 1620 or whatever. Yeah, so I believe it's this here whatever that was doing and I also is it even that this is so the problem is now so global inline flag question mark I so can now only be used at the start of server expression using them not at the start of expression was deprecated since Python 3.6 that issue. So it sounds tribal, but I couldn't. So Python like X, what does it even do? 3.11, here's something. Um, make the dot special character match any character at all. What? Make the dot special character match any character at all, including new line without this flag dot will match anything except the new line corresponds. Okay, fair enough. I mean, uh, but I tried to move that here. It didn't instantly fix something, which so it sounds beginning, beginning of the expression, right? So they, they mean like here. Did I try that? 
It is also possible that I fix one, but not the other two. But I believe moving it... Can't build Lexa here, no kidding. Um, 620, multi-line comment, 1620. Yeah, so that didn't fix it. Um, I believe it should be that one, except if so. So this is match, right? Unless they want that at the very beginning, but I tried, as far as I remember, I tried both, and then I thought, like, yeah, this, this is so hilarious. Um, so this is why I was close to reverting that in Python. The only problem is with all the only constant is change and regression, they moved that further. So as far as I see it's still the same 60 unless I scrolled here over something. Um, which is let's maybe do that again with a little bit spacing there, not to stare at the same because yeah, pro tip sometimes I stared at the same arrow. So this didn't sh change a thing and this is why maybe they're, they say multi-line common self T R. So I don't know where they want it or what strange buggy stuff that is now. Unless so Lexa line number, Lexa line number plus equal value count. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could delete it and see. So the problem is also with this one here, and or oh, oh, some of the other. This, by the way, is at the beginning. I think I did it at the beginning there, didn't I? And this is also at the beginning, and unless there are others, which although they have here, or is that another one? Maybe they mean that here. Um, you know, it, it always sounds easy. That is why my frustration here after 25 years, 25 years fixing other people's regressions, it gets tired and old soon. Um, and here we have obviously more. Let's see if deleting that. There is 1639. Yeah, so this indeed got rid of that single line coming global flag, uh, not position 24, 1626, but obviously this is changing the behavior. 1626. Um, I mean, as far as I see, it isn't the beginning of the expression, right? Maybe I should look at their test cases. Um, also, that is mostly deleting stuff. Where were the tests? This is test, so are the global flex at the beginning? Up uh, character plus. So, yeah. Our image. Should those work? One. Check pattern error. No, this should error out. So, but where do they want them? Maybe we should take a look at what should work. Uh, Copy it. No, I wanted the freaking revision. Where even can I not have the bloody file? Oh, where do I need to click for for the file? Oh, view file. Hello, view file. Are oh, we loading? Nah, no, shit, drop frames. Yeah, so any, um, any Python expert here who... I should basically, so, so we, have, we have stuff here, check error, compile, so here is re compile, that is at the beginning. <coughs> A third race. 
So the races assert if true. So yeah, um, you guess is guess your guess is as good as mine where they wanted. So we need to basically become a Python. Also yeah, why everyone every freaking language needs another regular expression syntax, right? It would be too easy if they would like some per compatible regular expression library or stuff. Um, This is why I messed around with that already. That didn't really. So this they they said that here. Um, I don't see how. And this is how developers spend their day, right? Imagine that multiply this with Apple, Microsoft, Firefox, Google. Each day, cool stuff breaks, regressions. Let's work on something, let's fix something. Um, it's, it, I can guarantee you, we waste a billion dollar a year easily, all the companies of, of just developers sitting and fixing shit that previously worked, that just someone decided, yo, let's change it for the sake of changing. Because cleanup, also yeah, Linux kernel, right? Cleanup, there we clean. So API, API is not amazing. The argument was really used. The na we didn't like the name, like put disk, right? Like destroy or whatever, gen disk or delete. Like, of course it's not put disk or what. Um, this is an extension notation. It's not, a mean, it's not meaningful otherwise. The first character after determines what the meaning and further syntax of the construct is extensions. Usually do not create a new group or do they one or more letters from set AIMS UX group matches the empty string. So we had here, what even was it? P name. Maybe it, they mean, what is even? What was M? Corresponds to the inline flag. Multiline when arm M multiline specifies the pattern matches at the beginning of the string and at the beginning of each line immediately followed by each. Yeah, what what crazy extensions though, man. Um, So corresponds to inline flag, but where is inline flag corresponds to the inline? Ah, okay, inline flag. Okay, fair enough. But um, so that is inline flag for multi line. Just that it didn't freaking work here. Neither here. So it was it was there already, wasn't it? So it was. Does that make any sense? They won't match. Single line comment. Or do they wait a second? Do they mean matching? We even want that. It was at the beginning, so it was multi-line. Why, why do they even do that, multi-line? R, it, it's not even using the, the pattern character matches at the beginning of the string and the beginning of each line, immediately following each new line. And the pattern character matches the end of the string and each line immediately preceding each new line by default, which is, do they even use this? They don't even use that here, do they? I don't even quite see how this option they had there made sense. But maybe it did in some. So they also have that here. 
And like I'm, I'm kind of. I, I wonder how much Python stuff blows up. And th that is the thing, right? So who will news sites and including ourselves, trying to be a little bit more mainstream here, applaud some performance improvements and then whatever expression marks. Um, single line comment. Um, also I wonder, was it 1626? Because I don't see here a, I don't see a 26 characters. Maybe they do, they combine that somewhere T9. This is so bizarre. And the, the problem is also that, as I mentioned, stuff like Python's Linux kernel needs to use everything but the kitchen thing, right? And then you need everything compatible with each other in all the exotic, exceptional, strange extension ways. Um, Well, I don't see. One hundred ten to put in your expression. Global is it still? Max flex object. I guess it's also maybe adding this stuff together to form multiple expressions. I wonder if I should just revert that, <clears throat> to be honest, and like let other people fix their stuff. <coughs> no, what do you even? I didn't want Python. I want. Oh no, wait, did I want Python? Oh no, yes, I want Python. So the only problem is they also moved that to re pars. Um, so the reverse patch, as, as per so often, right, they simply reverts that no, they moved so much other stuff, even to other files, apparently. Um, pars flex is first, if not first, a sub pattern. Um, So they had here if not first a sub pattern one and global no race source error. Still. Um, so from let's try if we can make it a warning for now. Oops. Because there's only so much pain I endure here of, of fixing stuff. Um, I have no idea if that will just work. Import warnings. Python indentation with spaces because amazing technology, <coughs> not one, two, three, four. Um, then verbose. I think I still have there duplication warning one. Um, and not verbose, raise verbose. Uh, state flex flex for both. So I think this is slightly. Where is it? State flex. I think this is from my verbose state flex. Hmm. F 
not first sub pattern, verbose state, cephalex verbose, and not verbose, rise verbose. Hmm, some of it's not in there anymore. Ah, oh, darn, did I not use? Or use whatever it did, did wrong there. Um, so, I don't know, do they handle this verbose stuff not somewhere else? Sub verbose, something, something. Hmm. I better not touch this verbose stuff. So it was there. So if not first, the sub pattern and report warning stuff, warning one, hopefully the other remaining stuff is still the same name. So yeah, of course it makes T2's Python 3.11 version a little bit non-standard of not breaking stuff potentially. But, like, if I can't easily see what's going on there, then also, yeah, it's source code, right? Uh, Mozilla is 1000, that is, that is what Mozilla is 1000 employees so do. So, this was all the reverted patch there that I copied from GitHub that obviously doesn't apply. Of course, no. Let's see if that does the thing. Leave in the comments below, what would you do, except most people would not maintain a Hoolian distribution, let alone Error Python has incompatible version 3.10. What? Ah, oh, this is, uh, you can ignore that, this is just alpha and titanium. I just had this rebuilt, so that means we need to... Need to have that rebuilt. Um, or this is I didn't rebuild Python. Mm, it's probably that Python too. Nothing like rebuilding Python uh, three times. <laughs> yeah, leave in the comments below. This and this is. As you see on this channel, which I recurrently state why I started this channel, right? For 20 years, I see, also I forgot to turn on my recycled LED light by on the lab power supply. For a little bit more evening, li even, even lightning. Lighting. Um, yeah, f for 20 years, I see such stuff, right? M4 breaks, autoconf breaks, autoconf breaks, even obviously so much and recurring that the Firefox people used until recently in 20 year old auto make 2.13 or whatever version. Um, wait, did I not build? Which build is it even? Oh, this is Alpha. That's Firefox. Um, and I think my summary is. While I, I, I understand why they did this, they wanted to clean this up, I understand their best intention of yeah, we implemented this a little bit strange and shitty and people used it in ways we might not have envisioned, it doesn't make the most sense like that, but the fact is, similar to C, C++, Python and, and in the future Rust, stuff is out there, right? People are using it and then you break stuff for 10,000, if not 100,000, as popular as Python is certainly in DIY stuff of quickly yoloing some electric DIY controller stuff on a Raspberry Pi stuff. I understand and pi a biochemics and, and whatnot. And I would expect even lots of Python modules, right? Not, not, not only Firefox. Um, and that is what is similar to OpenSSL, right? We op update uh, update OpenSSL to what was it, version three or so, and stuff breaks, inc including probably Python, PHP, and probably we should check if in the meantime 
they fixed it, welcome everyone. But my summary is we should not break each other's stuff all day long, right? All day long and every day. The Linux kernel people do that with their famous innovation is fast API, ch API change and ABI change. It's like that's not innovation, right? It's still a freaking 30 plus years old technology, Unix technology clone. Um, there's lot, lot, lots of the other research innovation. Um, and innovation is not just wasting each other's time changing APIs. Innovation is like true meaningful change and, and not this cleanup changes. Um, yeah, but that's basically it for this video. I have other stuff to do. Um, probably makes sense for me and this channel and, and you to, um, to group this better by, by theme. I hope you learned something and leave in the comments below what, what do you think about the stuff um, of, of ever-changing, breaking languages and... I mean, sure, it was deprecated, but there you also see the best of the industry. Sure, it was deprecated since Python 3.6, which probably is like 10 years or so. But the best of the industry, well, they also never adopted new autoconf until recently for 20 years, but the best of the industry, the most well-paid coders there at Firefox, the most seller foundation, have not adopted that. It's like, yeah, yeah, source is so large that who reads? Sure, why did they not adopt it? They probably have not even seen the freaking warning between all their probably hundred thousand lines of build log there. But yeah, it starts to build, it, it might work. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Also need to test it. But recently Firefox also segmentation faulted. Um, probably should actually check if that is fixed. So that's it for this video then. But that, that is my, my life, right? For 25 years, you wake up, you do some updates and the same day or the next day you notice, cool, stuff doesn't build anymore. It's broken. Yay. We can research that again, study Python's quirky and exceptional regular expression implementation. Um, but that's it for this video now. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new T2 releases coming. Oh, and we have new merchandise. Uh, did I? Um, if you also, uh, you as T2 becomes incre increasingly amazing Linux version, obviously, and, and soon we have the last things probably fixed. Um, we also have new merch yesterday, or if you didn't know, we have even freaking merch right here through this YouTube stuff. And not only did we have cool merch, but now we have even more and cooler merch um, if you're interested. Um, so basically, if you, if you don't want a Patreon or YouTube membership and just want to have something cool, then uh, you can buy this merch. Of, of course, we don't earn much, like only three to four dollars um, or, or five. Also, I lowered the prices yesterday because by default the prices in this YouTube affiliate, so yeah, our own marketing, right? So not a bit, our, our own shit, um, our own design stuff. And um, yes, yeah, so yesterday I did this. This is new. Um, I Linux code shirt here, inspired by other popular and a little bit generic, right? You don't need to be a fan of T2 and my work here. Um, you accept on the back is a little bit um, T2, right? But you obviously can somewhat ignore that and just enjoy your Linux code. And then we also have uh, our new T2 logo, which um, I also, uh, unfortunately, it is currently only in the EU store because as stupid as it is with big companies, I need to redo everything for the US store because it's not integrated for stupid big mega corporation reasons. So many of these new designs are only in the EU store. So if you want this in, in the US store, leave in the comments below. It, needs just hours of my time clicking everything to get uploading the same stuff. And, um, so yes, most of the designs are um, similar with uh, the T2 QR code. And um, that is kind of our, um, my branding there on the back QR code there and T2. I hope you enjoy this. We also have, we have other cool designs that we had previously already. So new is a Linux code and um, other cool designs that you might enjoy are actually um, also a set and stuff, right? Uh, nobody ever got fired for choosing T2 Linux. Obviously, here is cup and cups and um, hats and stuff. And um, the only constant is change. Obviously, right? You don't need to be a T2 fan. Um, you can just be a fan of 
um, because I only got in this change and regressions, hacker and T2 architectures and stuff. Also, obviously, as water bottles and so such, such stuff. So Firefox still builds here, so we are probably mostly through. Um, this takes, what does it take, 12 minutes or so, 13 on the Ryzen 1750X. So yeah, oh cool, that also broke for, for whatever reason. Um, although that might be um, might be just Mason broken because I, it's probably just Mason and Ninja because I had this yesterday night built with an older Python version because obviously the new Python version is broken. <coughs> Uh, I only built around that to clear the log file, then it's rebuilt, and then I have the benefit of the build continuing instead of just manually waiting for each job. So yeah, there is it. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Have a good day and night, and as usual, um, see you next time for all the regressions and buggy code to come. <laughs>